Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Xero's Minimap in Minecraft 1.14.4. Yep, you heard that right. We're going to be showing you exactly how to get a minimap, specifically a Xero's Minimap in Minecraft 1.14.4. I do want to mention this. thought that was really cool. This developer does have a new Android game that you can check out here. Um, I thought always like to see other developers trying other things outside of Minecraft and stuff, and so that's really cool to me. So go check that out there. But we're going to be showing you how to get Xero's Minimap, a step-by-step -step guide in this video for Minecraft 1.14.4. First and foremost, though, we do have a much smaller sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS back in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into getting Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.14.4. The first thing that you want to do is come to the second link down below. It's going to take you here. This is Xero Minimap's official download page. And once you're here, look in the right-hand sidebar and scroll down until you've seen this Recent Files and then Minecraft 1.14 section there. As you can see, Recent Files, Minecraft 1.14, and then you should have this version under it here, basically. It should say for Minecraft 1.14.4, and if it does, go ahead and click that purple download button there to the right of it. After that, it will take you off to a page where your download will begin in a few seconds. Once it does download, you will need to keep it in the bottom left. It's safe to keep as long as it says Xero's Minimap. That is on Google Chrome. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, kind of pop up in the server screen. Just click Save File, and you'll be good to go. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge here. And to do that, you can go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our official Forge tutorial for Minecraft 1.14. It's going to go through everything, but we're also going to go through it in this video. However, I do skip some stuff as far as like some issues and things you might have with Forge. We don't cover them here, and they are covered in this tutorial. However, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download button. That will take us off to Forge's official website. We want to make sure that we do have the 1.14.4 version of Forge selected. If you don't, you don't see MC 1.14.4 here. No worries, just on the left-hand side. Click on 1.14, then 1.14.4, and there you go. You'll see Minecraft 1.14.4 there. Then we want to come under Installer here, or under Download Latest, excuse me, under Download Latest, and click on the Installer button there. When you do that, it will go ahead, take us off to Add Focus, where you need to wait five seconds. Stop! Don't click anything on this page. If it asks you if you want to allow something, click Deny on it. Your download's not ready. It's lying to you. Stop it. Just wait five seconds until on the top right you see a skip button. You will see a skip button in the top right. When you see that skip button, click on it, and then in the bottom left, you will have a download for Forge. If it doesn't say Forge in the title of the download, don't save it. But as you can see here, it does say you want to keep Forge, so we're safe to go ahead and click Keep on that file. On Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen, and it will say Forge in it. If it does, go ahead and click Save. Again, do not click anything on this page except the Skip button in the top right that will appear after a few seconds. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. We have on our desktop Xero's Minimap and Forge. We're going to be starting off with Forge here because it is required for Xero's Minimap. Go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then go ahead and click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, or if you do and it doesn't work, like you click OK and it doesn't work, what do you do? Well, no worries, we have a solution for you. Just go back to the description of this video and then find our download Java link. Here's our in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers here. It goes through everything you need to know to get Java set up and installed and that will allow you to open up Forge with Java TM Platform SE Binary. However, if you do that and it still doesn't work, you might need to run the jar fix, which basically makes all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. It's a pretty easy and simple process to do, but overall it is here and this is an in-depth tutorial on it all three steps that it requires to make all of your jar files work with your Java once again. However, if we minimize our browser, we can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. Then we'll go ahead and open up our mod system installer for Forge here, click on Install Client, and click OK. It will then go through, download, do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed and running for Minecraft 1.14.4. And yeah, I mean, this is going to take a minute, but there you go. Boom. Successfully installed client profile for Forge for version 1.14.4. We then go ahead and click OK, and it's time to install Xero's Minimap. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left for me, bottom left of your screen most likely, that, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left. Go ahead and click on that. And then type in run, R-U-N, right like so. Then you have this run app here. Click on that run app. And then in here, you want to type percent app data percent and hit enter. So percent sign app data 
percent sign and hit enter and then it will open up our roaming folder here once you have your roaming folder go ahead and click on the dot minecraft folder then in the dot minecraft folder you should have a mods folder but nick what if i don't have a mods folder it's okay i don't have one either all you need to do is right click over here in this like white space click on new and then click on folder then you'll have a new folder up here name this new folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder now to install in xerox mini xeros mini map it's very very difficult just drag and drop it into your mods folder that's it just drag and drop it into your mods folder it's not difficult at all it's very easy drag and drop it into your mods folder now we aren't done just yet we still need to open up the minecraft launcher here and in the minecraft launcher we need to make sure we're playing the correct version to do that click the little arrow to the left of the play button here and then click on the forge profile now, if you don't have a Forge profile, no worries, we can create one. To do that, click on the Installations tab at the top of Minecraft up here. And then in here, you want to go ahead and click on the Plus New right up here, this Plus New. It's going to open up this. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server where we have incredible Greek protected survival and custom skyblock. We have two survival servers, Medieval Survival with over 30 custom quests that you will absolutely love, and Aquatic Survival with a incredible slash shop based economy we then have our custom skyblock server with op enchants custom crates tons, custom islands tons of custom features so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip now once you've got your name set we need to click on this drop down box under version here then you want to find the release of forge release 1.14.4 dash forge see that there once you find that go ahead and click on it i'm going to change my resolution so we'll be able to see once we get in game and then go ahead and click create in the bottom right then you'll have this new profile you created in our case it's called play.breakdowncraft.com Go ahead and click that green play button on it and it will go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with Xero's minimap installed. Actually, first it will open up the Forge loader and then after it opens up the Forge loader, it'll open up Minecraft with Xero's minimap installed. There we go. Now it is. And it's that simple. It's that easy. It's not hard to install Xero's minimap this, these days. It's gotten very, very easy to install mods, to be honest. And uh, this is a really cool minimap mod. And it differentiates itself from other minimap mods because it's a lot more simple and a lot more things can be configured, meaning that you can use it on a lot of servers and stuff. So if we go ahead and click on our mods tab here. We'll be able to see Xero's minimap. There it is. But the true test is to jump online and see what's up. So we're going to be jumping on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com here. And we're going to check it out and see what's up and check out how beautiful and amazing this mini map is so as we join on in here boom there we go and we can see boom right up there in the top right we do have the mini map there and we have this awesome jungle biome here with uh basically everything rocking and rolling pretty cool right pretty simple pretty easy and uh yeah nice jungle biome then we go to spawn we can see our beautiful spawn castle up there see that look how awesome that is and then I believe that we can um, go into options and this will have a few different controls most likely that we can kind of check out. Yes, so we can enlarge the minimap, go to minimap settings, all sorts of stuff. So if we click Z, we can make the minimap larger. If we click Y, we can open up the minimap settings, turning it on and off, changing the zoom on it, right? If you want it really zoomed out or really zoomed in, you can do that. You can change the minimap size to small, tiny, medium, large, or auto. You can change the entity radar, whether you want players on or off, what color you want them, all sorts of stuff like that. So many features here can be changed. You can also come in here and set waypoints, which I know a lot of people would like to do. So you can just name this whatever you want, confirm, done, back, and there's a waypoint set. So pretty awesome, pretty easy, and overall an incredible system. Come play with us on this amazing Minecraft server, Medieval Survivor here, play.breakdowncraft.com. I can't wait to see you online. It is a mighty fun time and truly the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, I guarantee it. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. All the information is in the description and the first comment down below. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown. Enjoy Xero's minimap, and I am out. Peace.